This is an observational question which is still unresolved and uh, the Hubble Space Telescope which uh, who knows might be launched uh, uh, next year if we're lucky uh, might answer this question. Professor Hawking used this very striking metaphor of the Earth borrowing its energy from itself. Now in straight banking terms <laughs> that means you're going to be overdrawn and in the end there's going to be uh, a collapse, a big crunch. So does Big Bang get followed inevitably by Big Crunch? No, not inevitably. It depends on how much matter there is in the universe, which is a still unsolved issue. I should say that uh, the prevailing opinion is that uh, the universe will continue expanding forever, but that, in my opinion, is, uh, is by no means a very secure conclusion. Well, let me bring in the poet amongst us here. Arthur Clarke, you know what T.S. Eliot said, this is the way the world ends, not with a bang, but a whimper. When you think of the end of the world, if you think of the end of the world, does it end with a bang or a whimper? <clears throat> well, one would like to think that we will end with a bang. Of course, uh, we'll never know. It is a rather a long way in the future. Uh, some billions, tens of billions, possibly even much further in the future. And uh, as Carl said, we may have the answers to these questions in a very few years if the Hubble Space Telescope gets successfully into orbit and can peer out to the boundaries of the universe.